Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be playing some Rainbow Six Extraction. This game was just launched. Um, I don't know too much about it, but it's uh, a 2022 release, so one that I didn't really know about. So I'm interested to see how it plays. I got something that will blow these Achaeans away. So I'm gonna quickly go for the in-game settings. As you'll notice, the game pretty much looks exactly the same as Rainbow Six Siege. So there are a few enhancements to textures here and there but not much to look at so playing at 4k at 120 hertz 90 field of view is the maximum um can enable letterbox mode if you want game also does support hdr but i'll try that out in a separate video uh, so pretty much running ultra settings so the game will use dynamic scaling by default by 25 percent but if you want to remain native you can use 100 percent fix 16 times anisotropic filtering uh, I'm using NVIDIA Reflex as well, just helps with latency. But that does come out of performance costs, just so you guys know. And everything else is completely maxed out. TAA can go up to times 4 About 4K, I believe this is completely unnecessary, so I'm not going to be doing that. And um, that is pretty much it for settings. Now the game does also have an in-game benchmark like Siege. And you'd be quite surprised how much more demanding this game is over Siege, but they look practically the same so it's a little bit confusing there so anyway i want to go ahead and try hibana and see how she plays and everyone has their own kind of class as you know i don't need to get into that everyone that plays rainbow six will know this so you jump in straight into new york city so you can actually play solo or as a squad um so i'll just do a quick play and uh, see how this game performs. So if I do have teammates, I'm going to mute them now because I don't want them interrupting my recording. I'm guessing the game is loading something because it's using a tremendous amount of CPU usage. Okay, so I'm ready to go. I'm just waiting for uh, my teammates. Okay, ready to go. RD needs a living, breathing arcane of a special kind. Locate the target. So, the best approach on this game is to do things stealthily. That's why most of the squads just sneak in. So, I'm not playing with any bots, these are other people, other players. So, as you can already tell, the game is ridiculously more demanding than Siege. On an RTX 3090, you'd be in the 200 to 300 range easily even at 4k but with this game as you can see you'll regularly drop below 120 fps so much so much for the stealthy approach let's just get a blot on floor first before we start going anywhere So on this game as well, you you can't actually refill your health. You can you can boost it over the normal level, which is 100, but you can't actually refill it. Smoke grenade out. Um, that alerted a lot of a lot of these monsters. for your objective. Use a recon device if you have one. There's something above us. It's going to split off from my squad. I don't really know what they're doing, so just kind of go and have a look around myself. Hopefully we'll meet up a bit later. And hear something around here. It's above me or close by. There it is. 
it kind of spews this kind of corrosive corrosive gas okay this is the one I've got to lure this to the extraction point hopefully my boys will come and help me I don't want to actually kill this see I've got to lure it to the extraction point so get this thing to chase me okay it's coming this way don't kill it guys I don't know why I'm talking like they can hear me let's try and get it to follow Yeah. Got a grunts down here. Okay, we got it. It's still alive. You've made some react scientists really happy. Good stuff. Now we can kind of move on. Hopefully we don't have to take any more of these alive. So you get like three objectives. So capturing a live species was one of them. I'm surprised how demanding this game is though over Siege, even though it looks very, very similar. I don't know if it's like a new engine or a new lighting model or something. But there's, this game does support DLSS just so you're aware, so you can actually use that as well. I'm not too sure about FSR. I didn't see that in there. encountered lab complications and couldn't exfil. The distress call came from this sector. Deploying heartbeat sensor. I'm reloading. Okay, we need to deal with these nests probably in this section. I'm gonna stay with my team because I've got so much low health. I don't really fancy my chances on my own. HB7 scanning. You can hear a lot of them around here. Nice work. I need to find a med pack or something. There's some ammunition. Get ammunition. Barely see. Where the hell did that even come from? What the hell is throwing all of this gas on me? I'm gonna go upstairs. Okay, so we're done with all the nests. What is this? Flashback. Let's go look in here if there's any. There's any health packs around. Get the asset to extraction. Oh great, we've got one of those bosses again. We've got a lead to the extraction zone. Alright, you and me. Get 
asset to the extraction pod. Let me just stay with my team. Protect this asset as well. Didn't really meet too much resistance here. They're reuniting them with their family. They'll be grateful. Just so you know, I'm using the HD texture pack as well. And um, as you can see, using... Cardiac sensor performing a sweep. Using around 8 gigabytes right now. alerted some more. It's a nest over here. Backs. I've literally got five health. Come on, guys, to use some help over here. Appreciate it. the hell man? So next down will put me in KO. Okay. Cardiac sensors. So then when you've been down as well you can only get back a, a reduced maximum health so I can only get up to 44 even if I find health packs. I'm gonna go upstairs with this guy. Nothing really in here. Let's try and stay with the team. There's also a time limit, as you can see, so you can't just hang around. Stealth side of the question now. You're getting the intel we need. On to the next sub zone. And I need help. I don't need to react sec. Final signs. Airlock sequence initiated. All personnel to Good airlock up. immediately. Okay, we're surviving. I think we got one more zone left to clear and that's it. Airlock sequence in progress. Proceed to airlock immediately. Hold your position in the airlock until the end of the sequence. Airlock sequence. Rapid transition in effect. Archies can adapt, maybe even change and evolve because they've got arc spines in the area. Look around for them. Jordan. 
But Dark Prince is not about that stealth, so there's no point of the rest of us trying to be stealthy. If he's gonna... Mark spine right there. Set the explosives. Stay on guard until they explode. Okay. <clears throat> Keeping these guys back. Don't destroy the nest, I'll keep producing more. Okay, we're good. We've got one more bomb to plant, and that's it. stuff on the floor stops you from moving. Archies are getting to the charges. Don't let them. It's getting a bit hectic here. Yeah. Arc spines are gone. Nicely done. We can't risk it with the parasite. Job done, people. pretty fun anyway guys that's pretty much it for me hopefully you enjoyed the video and as always thanks for watching